Good morning. I am Dr. R. Ravi Kumar. I am Senior Cardiologist, Heart Failure and Transplant in MGM Hospital, Chennai. So today we are going to address some myths regarding heart failure therapies and heart transplants and devices which are implanted for heart failure or arrhythmias. So one of the myths regarding these devices for advanced heart failure like a LV assist pump is, is one of the myths is whether after putting this device whether there will be infection, higher chance of infection because there is a kind of drive line which exits out of the body. So the answer for this is the infection rate is less than 1%. Or the, we have seen it even in Indian situation over the last five years. So it's very low if you take care. And now there are some new modern technologies available. In the sleeves and the devices are anti-infection technology as such inbuilt in these devices. So the infection risk has been very high. The other myths regarding these inbuilt devices, including for advanced pacemakers, is whether uh, other electromagnetic waves or electrical waves or x-rays for example in an airport or a mob mobile system or suppose you go near electrical field in a transformer or a some oil field so whether these electrical devices will affect the functioning of these devices like a pump or a pacemaker so again the answer is that these are all uh, basically insulated against electrical currents and uh, electromagnetic waves so basically our patients who put these pumps uh, have gone uh, for even through uh, the electric x-ray screening in the airports they are, of course use mobile they use mobile on any side pocket both left right near the device they also uh, very strong electrical currents apart for example if somebody is going in an atomic reactor but mild electric currents don't affect these pumps so these are all basically insulated devices and the other uh, there's another myth which i would like to address is regarding heart transplant oh okay, okay. my heart is changed so uh, what are the risks you know is it a very dangerous surgery so actually the uh, very good point or a striking point is these surgeries are not high risk. The reason is because you are changing a bad heart with a good heart. You are putting a good heart instead of a bad heart. So these surgeries immediately actually the patient gets improvement. Unlike other surgeries, this bypass it takes long time for the graft to function. Here the risk is very less because instantly the body gets a relief. Uh, number one. Number two is the immunosuppression drugs which you use. Yes, need some care for infection after the patient comes out of the hospital. But that care everybody has to take. And number three, there are some one myth regarding heart transplant which many patients ask us is will my personality change? My heart is, I bought my heart from somebody else. Or maybe uh, I am person X and person Y who is somebody else who is unknown to me. Uh, who is some other, uh, will, will I get his feelings? Will I get his emotions? Will I get his heart, uh, uh, whatever heart uh, rhythm changes and other uh, feelings of the previous person? So the answer is absolutely no. Actually, if you change a heart from another person, there's no relation to his feelings, emotions, and his life or personality. Because those things actually lie in the brain. So these are some of the myths which uh, I would like to clarify with regard to heart failure and heart transplant and devices.